Virginia Woolf was born in London, England in 1882. She was the daughter of Julia Duckworth and Leslie Stephen. They were a large, bustling family that resided at 22 Hyde Park Gate. The family experienced multiple tragedies, including the death of Virginia's mother in 1895, a half-brother sexually molested her, two years later, a beloved sister died in childbirth, and her father died in 1904, followed by a brother in 1906. After her father's death, she moved to Bloomsbury, where she became part of the Bloomsbury Group. They were known for their intellectual conversations and open sexuality. They were a group of artists and writers. It is here that she met and married Leonard Wolfe in 1912. Together they bought Hogarth House and started Hogarth Press, where they printed and published books by T.S. Eliot, Virginia, Leonard, and other notable writers. Virginia met the writer Vita Sackville West in the early 1920s. Vita encouraged Virginia to write, and the two had a love affair that lasted for 10 or 12 years. Virginia started to experiment with her writing, where she abandoned linear writing in favor of stream-of-consciousness monologues, as well as identity, personal relationships, and human suffering. Now you can see this in Mrs. Dalloway, which was published in 1925. And then in 1928, she published Orlando, in part consoling her friend Vita, who lost her childhood home because she was a woman. The property went to a cousin, a male heir. In 1929, she published A Room of One's Own, which was about being a writer and having a workspace all to yourself. She was a prolific writer. She committed suicide in 1941 by entering a river with her pockets weighed down by stones. Her last known writing was her suicide letter to her husband, Leonard, where she professed her love and happy life to him. She suffered with depression on and off all of her life, but it was not publicly known until after her death.